Channel 2 Investigates has discovered another member of Mayor Sylvester Turner's inner circle failing to turn over emails that are considered public record. First, we found the mayor's press secretary trying to conceal more than 5,000 pages of emails. She resigned under pressure. Investigator Mario Diaz then began digging into another senior staff member. Tonight, he's revealing more questionable email protocol at City Hall. Mario uncovers why these emails about a big city project were deleted, and he's holding the city's top dealmaker accountable. Emails kept secret by politicians have a notorious tendency of being revealed. Whether they involve a personal or government server, email scandals have impacted leaders from Washington to Houston City Hall. I'm Darian Ward, your moderator extraordinaire. Last fall, Mayor Sylvester Turner's former press secretary, Darian Ward, failed to turn over thousands of pages of emails. Are you going to stand behind that and say that she did her job extremely well? Yes, sir. Ward abruptly resigned after the scandal broke. Since then, Mayor Turner has touted transparency as a top priority, which is why Andy Ickens hid in emails are so intriguing. I'm the chief development officer of the city of Houston. A trusted member of Turner's inner circle, Ikin is the city's top deal maker. His primary focus, help grow business. When you're involved in a deal, are you looking out for the best interests of the city at all times? That is my job. During our February investigation into State Representative Jim Murphy's lucrative deal as general manager of the West Chase District... This must be a sweeps week. Channel 2 Investigates obtained more than 200 emails from West Chase between Murphy and Itkin. 23 of those emails detailing city business came from Itkin's personal AOL account. You've got mail. We asked the mayor's office for the city's copies of Andy Ickens' emails dealing with city business, including multiple requests for personal emails. Each time, we were told there were none. We asked Ickens to explain. I never had them. Not you never I, had, but you sent them. I sent them, and then they, they were deleted by my, by, by my email account. Why should you not be suspended? because I followed all the rules that I was told to follow and been instructed to follow from the city. But Darian Ward was suspended for similar violations. Ward's boss determined she misrepresented the volume of emails that should have been turned over. Only after Channel 2 Investigates informed the mayor's office it can appear to be in violation of state law, did the city provide his personal emails. More than four months after our first request, they show Ikin conducting business with state rep Jim Murphy. This email shows the two discussing a West Chase project involving a seven-figure investment from the city. Murphy writes to Ikin, thanks for watching my back, referring to his dealings with other city executives. Ikin then provides guidance to Murphy in his negotiations with those same executives, writing, stay the course. Ikin is referring to roadblocks Murphy encountered with other department heads. He then writes, you should be on firm ground, I believe. If your duty is to look out for the city's best interest, right. why were you emailing Jim Murphy on a separate email account? Again, not including other members in a negotiation? It was an accident that I was on the AOL account, I believe. Why should taxpayers, city employees, and the mayor trust you moving forward? I've always followed the rules of this city. For all 12 plus years that I've been with the city, I've been instructed to follow rules and I follow them this time and every other time. In this instance, when we made the request though, again, it was a detailed request through the mayor's communications office for all personal and city emails. They were not turned over, sir. I did. All that I could secure, I turned over. And again, he only did so after we informed the city. Mayor Sylvester Turner issued a statement to us this afternoon. The mayor tells Channel 2 Investigates, I expect every city employee to comply with the Texas Public Information Act to every degree. It appears that Andy Itkin did so. Now, Itkin claims a default setting on his device caused him to send emails from his private AOL account. You also heard Itkin say his account erased the emails. Now, why is this key? because Mayor Turner touts transparency and unless a forensic examination of Ickens' AOL account is conducted, taxpayers are left in the dark as to how many AOL emails Ickens may have sent over the years involving 
city business. Now, Bill and Dominique, we're going to actually put some of these emails up online. You can find them on the investigate section mm. of click2houston.com. So, Mario, Andy Icken told you that his sent emails, the emails in his sent email file, were automatically deleted. That's not something I've ever heard could happen. Uh, have you heard that? Dominic? No, never. Only I, the deleted items get deleted. You're not alone. We, we were kind of caught off guard on that. But again, his exact quote here, and I have it, is he said, I sent them and then they were deleted by my mail, by my email account. Okay. Mm. Well, it's a story and sticking to it, I guess. Yep. Thank you. We're going to have more on this. All right, sir. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.